Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I made the Burr of Tanks on Scratch. So first, I basically just wanted to make the first part of it, which was make the loading um, part. So I'll show you the project first. So I basically made a tank and I made it so that the it loads and it has a lot of things to it like it not not just loads but it has connecting stuff I made this back tank looks pretty cool and and then it leads you into the garage I also put some cool sound effects on it leads into the garage I made an M1 smart it's an American tank so it's the only tank you have it's tier one and I made it so you have gold and silver and I made it so there's settings so you can either like turn them on, turn them off, something like that, and you could just push the X and it'll get out. It also made a shop. I really like the shop. It has this these cool crates. I haven't made it so you can buy them yet, but I have made them so so you can see what's in them and stuff. And I've and it's like a limited edition thing. And also, this button really works. So let's see it. So it says waiting players, players online four. So basically it just detects how many players are in the game right now and it puts them all together. And I made it so if there's like seven, then it will start a new game and it'll lead you into a game with seven other players in their tanks. So it also says these cool things by get tanks by going to the shop, it says that, and change things by going to settings, all this stuff. And you can just push cancel and it gets out. So I'm gonna, I also have silver and gold. Um, I'm also gonna change it so you can see what tanks you have in your tech tree. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I just like how the shop is made. And so the coding I did was, so for the loading thing, I basically just co copied it many times and I made it so it's like custom one, custom two, custom three, like that. And it looks like it's loading all the way down. So it's literally just a thunderbolt. That's where Tank's Blood's logo. And I made these crates by just going into costumes and making it. Um, to make this, I just searched up a picture of where Tank's Blood's, how, how they made the tanks in the background. I just put the American flag, and then I put try to make the tank. I think it looks fine. It doesn't look too great. And... So you're probably wondering how I put this here, this username here, my username. Well, I'll tell you right now. So it's pretty easy. All you basically gotta do is you wanna do it. So when flag clicked, you wanna put, you wanna put an if block, or you know an easier way you could do set set username to your username. And there's a username block right here, and it's always here. You don't even have to make it. So you can just put this username block, and you can put a forever block. You just put it here. So it's like when flag clicked forever, set username to your username. So basically, just show your username on the variable. So that's pretty cool, I think. I also did that. And I did, by doing like this, you have to go to shop. By doing this, you just gotta press on this and it'll show up for about like three seconds. Pretty easy, I just did that. And the these were pretty easy too. They, they were just costumes. So when you push on them, they'll go to here, and they'll go to here. So it's like a checkpoint. So you just go to settings, and then you can turn them on. And these actually will work soon, but right now they just look pretty nice. Look pretty cool. And, yep. And, I mean, I think I'm gonna change how the gold and silver is not there when, when it's loading, but yeah, I'll change that. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, if you want a tutorial on this, how to make this whole game, then subscribe and like this video, because I will make a tutorial. If you want a tutorial, make a tutorial. If you like and subscribe, this